ghosts. Let me first start off by saying that everyone has the potential to see a spirit. Maybe that will happen once just briefly or it could happen many times. But the thing to remember is that everyone can see them given the right factors. I believe it's all about perception. I heard it described once as being like a radio. For those that possess a really good internal radio, spirits are visible all the time. These people can even go as far as to communicate and gather information from the dead, or allow spirits to channel through them and speak to the living. For others, their radios may need some fine-tuning, but they still work. They may occasionally see a shadow out of the corner of their eye or hear unexplained noises in a quiet house. They may also physically feel the presence of spirits by getting chills, ghost bumps, hair standing on the back of their necks, sudden mental or physical exhaustion, etc. But they don't witness spirits the way a median can, sometimes plain as day and as real as any live person standing before them. Then you have those whose radios might as well not work at all. They see nothing, feel nothing, hear nothing, experience nothing of the spirit world. These are people who are mentally closed off to the idea of ghosts, either because they don't believe it's real or because they are too afraid of what they might see if they open themselves up to it. Many people won't even touch a Ouija board for fear of what they may expose themselves or their home to. Personally, I don't blame them. You never know what you invite into your home when you seek out spiritual contact. It could wind up being incredibly dangerous. Hopefully I haven't confused you all with the radio and signal talk but it really does seem to be that we are sort of receivers or spirit signals and this is the explanation as you said all the lectures and most people seem to understand it better this way than going into all the theories. Thanks for watching my channel.